Set things straight. Find out what he knows. Sheffield and Associates, how can I help you? Yeah, I want to talk to George. May I ask who's inquiring? Why don't you tell him Tony Montana would like to have a word with him? Hello? You're there? Of course, Mr. Montana. Mr. Sheffield is interested to speak with you as well. Okay. You want to let me in or is this how we're going to do business now? Do the hole in the wall? Mr. Sheffield is having a business lunch at the Babylon Club at the moment. I can tell him that you wish to speak with him. That's okay. Mr. Montana? 
Jesus Christ, I thought you were dead. You writing a fucking book or what? No, no, I, I just... Do you know how hard it's been to get any good coke around here? Is that Hossa Sheffield in the club? How about a little head? Sir, we need to talk, George. What do you want? Tony? I want Sosa's head on a fucking platter, man. Sosa, Tony? Impossible. Why? You got some kind of shortage of platters? Tony, come on. Where the hell you been? What happened? What? For me. All right, Tony. You want to get something going? A friend of mine runs the bar in Coconut Grove. Talk to her. What's all over your face, pal? Your wife's pussy. Well, little man. <laughs> Who'd you call a little man? <laughs> We've got your mansion locked up tighter than a nun's ass, and if you want it back, you're gonna have to cough up the cash. Oh. <laughs> Where? You know what I'm talking about? The cable guy, pizza Fuck. delivery. Hell, we might even be cleaning your mama's carpets. Give me a scotch. On the rocks? Straight up. I know you. No, we never met. I hear you, tiger. The government not paying you clowns enough? Hey, buddy, we're vice. Not some loose-knit government agency looking for handouts. You know how this is gonna work from here on out, don't you? Fuck you. Maybe you two should go home and donate a little something to your wives, you know? Relax a little. <laughs> Watching you, boy. Felix, it's Tony. Hey, Tony. Did you see Coco? Oh, yeah. She said you're terrible in bed, man. Look, I got my old house back. The fucking vice. This place could use a cleaning, you know, like, uh, like a maid or something. You want me to go in? No, that's okay, man. I paid that Hassa visit myself. I have a message for Gaspar. It need to be delivered in person. Yeah, I'll have to check with Mr. Gomez first. Uh, who may I ask is the message from? You tell him that Tony Montana is on his way up to settle a debt. Hey, just a minute, please, sir. Sir, I insist that you stop. I, I will have to call security, sir. Some kind of wild animal, and I like that. Not that I'm worried about money. It's just why else he's there. This is a great life. He can use clues. He can throw me in the end of the world. Get him! I'll grind you in. What? Who the fuck are you? Where's Gaspar? Who am I? I work for Mr. Gomez. I handle his security. Look like you need to upgrade. Where's the Hassa? I want to talk to him in person. It's none of your motherfucking business. But let's just say Gaspar's on a business trip, Tony. Why you gotta talk to me like that, huh? Like you got some fucking baseball bat up your ass or something. You would know what that feels like, Guano. The next thing out of your mouth is gonna be your teeth, puto! Out 
Adiós, amigo. You sound fatter on the phone. Who the fuck is this? Where's Ricardo? I take him back what you owe me, Gaspar. Montana? Hey, fuck you, man! Hello. I'd like to make a deposit. Can I have your account number, please? And I'd like to talk to my manager, Jerry. Mr. Montana? Oh. What's the matter? You seen a ghost? Well, n no. Uh, Jerry will be pleased to see you, Mr. Montana. Hello, Jerry. Tony, it's good to see you. Oh, you too, Jerry. Look like you've done pretty well for yourself. You've always been a good customer, I respect that. But I'm running a legitimate business here, and I'm going to keep it that way. I'll open a new account for you, but you have to allow my bank to take a percentage out of your deposits to help cover the tracks. Look, I know how it works, Jerry. I'm going to fight you on this. Every deposit I make. I'm not going to let you watch your fucking hands in the money I risk my life for. Fuck that. Welcome back, Tony. I'll authorize your new account. If you return downstairs, you can work out the details with Susan. Hey, I've seen you before. I'm sure we can do even better next time. Pawn shop in Little Havana. You know about it? What do you mean, Pedros? Yeah, that's it. Everybody got a price, man. Pedros Pawn Shop. ¿Y qué pasa, man? I heard you trying to sell this place. How about I pay you in cash, you work for me, and we go straight to the top. How'd you like that? Sounds fucking great, but the cops, one of my contacts told me they're coming to check up. If they find all these hot goods, they'll shut me down. I got to go get rid of them right away. I took care of your chip, man. The cops won't find anything now. Holy fucking shit, thanks, Tony. Coño, I'm looking forward to working with you, man. Cabana Cigar. You're in a very bad... Hey, que pasa, man? I got an offer for you. I buy your store, I make you a socio de negocio, okay? Together, we bring in only the best. Muy bien, but I can't sell you this store unless I get my papers back. My accountant ran off with a local thug, and together they're trying to take over the cigar market. If you find her, you can get what we need. Your account that wasn't very good with numbers, man. Gracias, Tony. It is with great pleasure that I sell you my store and be part of your empire. 
Buckley Drive-In Theater. I always wanted to own my own drive-in, you know? This is America. I can sit in my car and watch Bogart on the big screen. I got the catch, how much? It's all yours, man, but you gotta deal with these punk-ass kids who've taken over the lot. They think they're some sort of demolition derby gang or something. Watched Grease too many times, if you ask me. It's taken care of. You're gonna have to have a Bogart with, man, okay? Just start with the treasure of Sierra Madre. I love Walter Houston in that one. It's all yours now. I can't wait to see what we start bringing in. Is this it? Is this what it's all about? Killing, driving, dealing, swearing. Then what? You're 50, you got a bag for a belly, you got tits, you need a bra, they got hair on them. You got a liver, you got spots on them, and you're looking like these rich fucking mummies. I got a 